Welcome in my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's fitness challenge brought to you by Revision Training LLC. Today we're going to be doing some yoga, some stretch down and some progressive relaxation. You guys are really going to like this one. You can work out as hard as you want, you can push your body, but if you don't give your body the proper recovery that it needs, stretching, rest, hydration, nutrients, then you're gonna just be spinning your wheels. So today's a really, really important today, uh, day to, uh, for us to work out. So we're gonna do a little recovery movement. This should be appropriate for any fitness level and it is definitely something that will make you a better athlete and a healthier person. So let me introduce myself to you. My name is Tyler Marin. I'm the owner of Revision Training, LLC. And I'm also a three-time Paralympic athlete. I'm a personal trainer, 10 years now been a personal trainer. Um, I'm also a motivational speaker. So I'm bringing these videos to you. I'm very excited to be presenting this to you because what I'm working on currently is a fitness project designed specifically to be universal so that it's accessible for people with vision and people without vision and other disabilities included as well. So this is something that I'm super passionate about. I think that fitness is so important for everybody to have access to. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring it to you guys. So today we're gonna have the video. You guys who have vision can see me here, but if you're new to these, um, promise I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna describe everything that I'm doing super well so that you should be able to follow along. So let's go ahead and start off with some yoga positions and movements. Let's get our bodies flowing and stretched open. We'll transition then into uh, some basic static cool down stretches. And then we're gonna finish up with a really cool, fun, progressive relaxation technique. I think you guys are really gonna like that. So this will help you de-stress and decompress the body. Let's go ahead and start. Um, I'm standing on a yoga mat. If you guys don't have a yoga mat, you definitely should try to get your hands on one. For today, it's okay if you just have like a comfortable padded surface, a carpet, um, or a towel you can put down. Just be mindful that it doesn't slip or move underneath you. So just make sure you have a steady, comfortable surface to work with. We're gonna start off today in mountain pose. So it's our anatomic position. We've got our feet right underneath our hips, toes pointed forward. You're gonna ground the four corners of your feet into the floor. So that means your, your pinky toes and the outsides of the backs of your heels, kind of ground those into the floor. We're lifting the arches of our feet up pushing the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, pointing your nose straight forward. And we're gonna turn your palms so they face straight ahead of you towards 12 o'clock. So we're gonna use the clock face directions today. And while you're in mountain pose, pushing that head up, squeezing your belly in, I want you to take several deep breaths. We're just gonna start off here. Take a couple deep breaths in. And breathe out. Go ahead and cycle in a few breaths, breathe in and breathe out. I'm gonna talk you through a little bit of how we're gonna to move today and what we're gonna do. I wanna focus first on our breathing and our posture. So we're gonna start off in mountain pose. We're gonna get in a couple of basic stretches up on our feet, continue to take some deep breaths in and hold for a pause and breathe out all the way, push all the air out, squeeze the shoulder blades back, belly in, palms forward towards 12 o'clock. We're going to focus in on posture. We're gonna stretch out the hips, the shoulders, the back. If you've been doing some good workouts lately, maybe your muscles are a little tight, a little sore. So crucial that we get these in. And Usually, I get pretty pumped up in these videos. I'm gonna to try to stay calm today. <laughs> I'm gonna to try to stay relaxed with you guys because yoga is about connecting the mind and the body. It's about relaxing the muscles, opening up the joints, all very, very crucial for health and fitness. Let's go ahead and take in another deep breath. One more, let's go big breath in and breathe out all the way. Let's go ahead and bring your feet together. We're going to start off with a standing side stretch. So I've got my toes, heels, ankles, knees, everything pulled together. 
Now, if this feels a little wobbly for your balance, if you feel unsafe with this, you can separate your feet a little bit more. Everything that we do, every exercise, every movement pattern, safety is number one, technique number two. Okay, so keep yourself safe and comfortable and let's focus on good technique and good alignment. So keep pushing the top of your head towards the ceiling, squeezing the belly in, palms are forward. Let's go ahead and stretch your arms out to your side towards nine and three o'clock. So palms still facing forward towards 12, but my left hand reaching out towards nine, my right hand reaching out towards three. And then extend them all the way up overhead reaching up as high as you can and you can actually come up on your toes reaching up as high as you can i'm a little limited here i'm coming at you from my house in my basement <laughs> so my ceiling's not very high in here but just do the best you can you want to reach up look up just a little bit stretch up high now drop your left hand down to your left side so put your the uh, palm of your left hand on the outside of your left eye go ahead and Lean to your left now, slide your left hand down your left leg and reach your right hand up, up, up as high as you can. I'm actually gonna flex my wrist a little bit here so I can reach my shoulder up a little higher, but you're trying to separate your hands as much as you can. You're leaning to your left just slightly, pushing your hips out to the right, driving your left hand fingertips down towards the floor, your right hand straight up in the air. Good, now come back up, reach that left hand up in the air, Reach up high, drop your right hand down to your side now, and same thing on this other side. So I'm reaching as far down my right leg as I can. I've got my palm on the outside of my right thigh, and I'm reaching my left hand up in the air as high as I can, stretching out my sides, taking a couple deep breaths. Never hold your breath while you're doing stretches. You want to even breathing through the whole thing. Good, let's go back to the other side. Come on up, reach that right arm straight up in the air and reach the left hand down the side. This is a good one, this feels really great. I just wish my ceiling was about three feet higher. <laughs> reach down, reach up, separate those hands. Let's go back to the other side. You can hold these stretches a little bit longer if you're doing some of these later on on your own. Um, I'm kind of a bigger fan of moving in and out of these stretches, hold them just a little while and then go back and forth. Good, go ahead and come back up, both arms up and then spread your arms wide again, back down to your side to mountain pose, palms forward. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. I'm a little bit of a bigger fan of trying to move into the stretch, hold it for a short period of time, move out of the stretch and just kind of keep your body flowing and moving. Uh, different, different models and theories on that, but whatever's comfortable for you guys. So we're gonna go into a swan dive next, okay? So we're gonna start the beginning stages of, of a common sequence of sun salutation. Let's go ahead and separate the feet just a little bit again. Not super wide, again, they're about six to eight inches apart, right underneath your hips, palms forward. Let's spread the arms wide again, so I'm reaching out to my sides, palms towards you guys. I'm gonna reach way up over my head again, reaching up high, palms towards you, towards 12 o'clock. Now, as I spread my arms wide out to the side again, now I'm gonna lean forward, okay? I'm gonna push my buttocks back, push my belly towards my thighs, and then my chest, my shoulders, and everything starts to fold forward in front of me. I'm bowing forward, and now I'm gonna reach down towards the floor and go into ragdoll position. So my knees are straight, my hands are reaching down towards my toes as far as I can reach. My head is hanging down, rounding out my back, stretching out all those muscles, okay? I'm gonna turn sideways so those of you who can see the camera, I wanna see this position, that's fine. Now I want you to come up just slightly. So you're gonna lift your head and lift your shoulders up. Keep pushing your belly towards your thighs. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Okay, so that your fingertips are still pointed towards the floor and you should feel this stretch in your hamstring still, but you've lifted your head and shoulders up only, belly towards the thighs, squeeze the shoulder blades back, turning your back into a flat table. So this is gonna kind of arch your back. You can even look forward a little bit, kind of get that, that big arch and stretch in your spine. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and reach down again. 
rounding out your back, dropping your head down, trying to turn your chin towards your chest, rounding out the spine. Okay. Deep breath in and breathe out. Now we're gonna reverse swan dive up. So I'm turning towards you guys again. Reverse swan dive up, head comes up first, then your shoulders start to lift up. Turn your palms towards 12 o'clock, towards the front of the room. Spread your arms wide as you reach up overhead again. Good, reach up, reach up, and then bring your arms back down to your sides for mountain pose. So you should already start to feel a little sweat going. You should already start to feel some of the muscles in your back, your spine, in your glutes and hamstrings loosening up a little bit. Let's go through that again. And then after that, we're gonna add in a little work as we get down towards the floor and start opening things up. If you have a hard time getting to the floor with some of these movements, I'm gonna show you some modifications where you don't have to uh, uh, be quite as, as graceful coming down if you need to step down one at a time or anything like that. So just stay with me guys and do the best that you can. We're in our mountain pose, spread the arms wide, reach up overhead, reach up, 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 and we're gonna swan dive forward again. Spread the arms out to the side. As you hinge forward at the hips, you're keeping your head and shoulders up, belly pushes towards your thighs. And then as soon as you get to the furthest point you can, then you drop your shoulders and head down and reach down for the toes. If you can reach your toes, great. If you're only halfway down your shins, it's no problem. Just go into that stretch, should never be painful. Round out the back, stretch it open. Bring your head up, shoulders up, and squeeze the shoulders together and turn yourself into a table, flat back. So right now, if somebody set a glass of water on your back, you'd be nice and flat and strong. You can even look forward just a little bit, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull them back. Push your belly towards your thighs. Good guys, now breathe in and reach down. Good. Okay, again, I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see this. Take a couple deep breaths. Now what I want you to do, most of you aren't flexible enough to be doing this anyway, so oh, I'm gonna adjust my mat. Sorry, one second, guys. <laughs> most of you are not flexible enough to put your palms on the floor, just like me. So bend your knees now, put your palms flat on the floor so that your palms are on the outsides of your pinky toes, okay? But a little bit in front of them. So the heels of my hands are right on the outside uh, right next to my pinky toes. Now I'm going to step back into a push-up position. So I'm stepping my feet back. Now I'm in a high plank or push-up position. I'm up on my hands and toes. My arms are straight. My hands are right underneath my shoulders. Uh, my legs are, are straight out. I'm up on my toes. My feet are about six inches apart and my hips are level with my shoulders. So we're going to just hang out here for a second. Take a couple deep breaths. This is a strengthening maneuver as we challenge the muscles in the chest, shoulders, and belly. A couple deep breaths. I want you to breathe in, and then I want you to breathe out and come down to your knees. Okay? So now I'm on my hands and my knees. I'm going to turn my feet down so that the tops of my feet are on the floor. And we're gonna go into child's pose. Today's yoga session is gonna be a little, little lighter, a little easier. So we're working on some of those, those asanas, those movements that are a little bit easier on the body, a little more about stretching. So right now I'm in my quadruped or my all fours pose. I've got my hands still right under my shoulders. My knees are on the floor, right under my hips, the tops of my feet on the floor. So I want you to walk your hands forward just slightly. So instead of your hands being right here under your shoulders by your chest, walk your hands forward so they're like up by your face, okay? Or even a little bit higher if you want to. So your hands are a little bit more out in front of you, elbows are straight. Now we're gonna sit back into child's pose. So keeping the tops of your feet flat on the floor, your knees hip width, sit your buttocks back towards your heels, keep your hands planted on the ground, and as you sit your heels down, I'm sorry, sit your buttocks down towards your heels, a couple of things are gonna happen here. You're gonna feel a big stretch in your arms and shoulders as you reach out with those arms, as you're keeping those hands planted on the floor. And you can even 
crawl your fingertips forward a little bit to stretch and elongate the spine. You might feel a little bit of stretch in your thighs as you sit your hips back towards your heels as we're flexing and stretching those quads. If you have any pain in your knees, be sure to lighten the stretch, come out of it just a little bit. Make sure you're very well padded up. Take a couple deep breaths here. Now, here's what we're gonna do from here. I want you to take your left hand and put it on top of your right hand. So it's gonna stretch you across, it's gonna stretch open that left side a little bit. You're gonna feel this running down the side of your ribs, down the side of your back, into your hips. And then let's go ahead and put that left hand back, take the right hand, put it on the left. We're gonna move back and forth a couple of times. Good, and now back to the other side, put your right hand back in place. Now take your left hand and put it on the right. So you're stretching back and forth, feels good. Deep breath in and breathe out. And one more time, back to the left. Left hand on the ground, put your right hand on top of the left. So you're kind of reaching across your body almost with your right hand. Good guys, this is a good stretch. Okay, both hands back in place. Let's come on back up to your quadruped position so you're on all fours. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. And let's go ahead and go into a cobra pose. So from here, with your hands under your chest, maybe up just a little bit towards your face, find a position that kind of feels right. But what we're gonna do is keep your knees where they are, the tops of your feet on the ground, push your hips forward and try to push your hips and your belly down to the floor, but keep your arms straight and your chest looking forward. So what this is gonna do, as you push your thighs, your belly, your hips towards the floor in front of you, you're gonna put a big arch in your spine. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades back. You're gonna look forward. You can even look up just a little bit if you'd like to, but we're stretching out the chest, the belly, the hip flexors in Cobra. Now in this same position, if you were to drive your hands and the tops of your feet into the floor, lift your knees off the ground, you'd be an upward dog. Let's stay a little easier today. You're welcome to go to upward dog. I'm gonna stay in Cobra. Now bring your hips back up into your quadruped position. Walk your hands forward just a touch and we're gonna sit back into child's pose again. So sit your hips back, stretch the arms out. We're gonna go back and forth between these a couple of times today. Like I said, nice and, nice and easy today. It is totally fine to treat your body to this. I've been an elite athlete for a long, long time. And something I can tell you guys is that my athleticism got so much better. Go ahead and come back up to quadruped pose, adjust your hands a little bit if needed, and let's go back into Cobra. My athleticism got so much better when I understood how to maintenance my body, how this whole idea with yoga and stretching the body worked. So don't be afraid to jump into these days. Stretching out the body, very, very good for you. Okay, one more time, let's sit back into child's pose. So again, adjust your hands a little bit. I'm gonna walk my hands just a little more forward. I like a good stretch in the shoulders for child's pose. I'm gonna sit my hips down as low as I can, really reaching the arms out as far as I can, bringing my chest and my belly down towards my thighs as far as I'm able to, big bend in the knees, tops of my feet still on the floor. Good. Okay, guys, come back forward. Now I want you to come back up to your high plank position. So I'm gonna put my toes on the floor now instead of the tops of my feet. I'm gonna straighten my knees. So I'm up in this push-up plank position, pushing the back of your head towards the ceiling. That's really important. When you're holding this plank, don't drop your head down. Point your nose towards the floor, but raise your head up. Push the back of your head towards the towards the ceiling. Now walk your feet back up to your hands. Okay, take your time, walk your feet back up. Now I'm gonna straighten my legs so that brings my hands off the ground, but my fingertips are still able to able to touch. If you're if you're not, that's fine. Just go to we're back in ragdoll position now. So head is dropped down, rounding out our back. Now we're gonna reverse swan dive up. Pick your head and shoulders up first. 
spread the arms wide and reach up and bring the arms back down. So we've got a good warm up kind of stretch movement in. We are going to go through a sun salutation sequence now. So we're gonna get a little bit more advanced with these. Again, if this is a little tricky for you as we go through some of these movements, you can stay with that sequence that we just did, stepping back gently, coming down to all fours, going to cobra and child's pose, as opposed to upward dog and downward dog is what we're gonna to go to next. So you guys have the option. You can stay with me on that, um, on what I'm doing, or you can stay with the, uh, the version we just did. So go ahead and step towards the front edge of your mat. And let's come up to mountain pose, spread the arms wide, reaching up overhead, and up, 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 reach up high. Now, swan dive forward, spread the arms wide out. As you hinge forward at the hips, drop your belly towards your thighs, chest, and shoulders and head follow. Come up to flat back, turn yourself into a table, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Good. Reach your fingertips down towards the floor. As you breathe out, round out your back again, palms down on the floor, step back to your push-up position. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tops of my feet down. I'm gonna lower myself down to four staff pose, four limb staff pose, and I'm gonna push my shoulders back up, and now I'm in upward dog. Okay, so upward dog, my arms are straight, my hands are right underneath my shoulders. The tops of my feet are on the floor. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades back. Very easy for you if you feel some strain in your back or anything like that, you can put your knees down. I've got my knees up, okay? Deep breath here, breathe out. Now, if uh, you want to come back to child's pose, you can do that. What I'm gonna do, turn my toes under, I'm back up into my push-up position, my high plank. I'm gonna keep my hands and my feet right where they are, but I'm gonna push my buttocks way up in the air. I'm going to drive my heels towards the floor as I let my head hang down between my arms and I'm in downward dog. So where are we with downward dog? We're pushing our chest towards our thighs. Knees and elbows are straight. So my hands are like, I'm kind of pushing away from my hands. My hands are like up above my head level. My feet and hands are hip width, shoulder width, driving my heels towards the floor, trying to turn your sit bones, your buttocks towards the sky. Couple deep breaths, head hangs down. You should feel this big stretch in your calves, in the back of your legs and your glutes. Feel it a little bit in your shoulders. Okay, now raise your head up. Come back to your push-up position. Everybody back to push-up position, walk your feet up to your hands and let's go ahead and reverse swan dive up. So spread the arms wide, reaching up overhead, big reach. And good, let's go through that sequence one more time. So that was our general, go ahead and relax the arms down at your side, kind of adjust my shirt. That was our general uh, sun salutation positions, movements. So it's a great, great pattern to really help wake your body up. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. And this time, as we go through the sequence, we're gonna step into a couple of warrior positions, triangle pose, just to kind of get a finished um, progression in. Head up, palms forward, spread the arms wide, reach up overhead, reach up, 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 up. And then spread the arms wide, hinging forward, push your belly towards your thighs as you drop your head and shoulders down. Ragdoll pose, knees are straight, arms are straight, rounding out your back, dropping your head down. Come up into flat back, squeeze the shoulder blades back, head and shoulders come up, but you're still pushing your belly towards your thighs, so you're kind of reversing that arch in your spine. Deep breath in and reach down as you breathe out. Bend the knees, put your palms on the floor, on the outside of your pinky toes again. I'm back up into my push-up position, my high plank. I'm gonna turn the tops of my feet to the floor. I'm gonna lower myself all the way down to the ground and then just push my shoulders back up. So that movement is called chaturanga, where you 
lower yourself down or four, four limb staff pose, I think is what it's called. You come down and then you just push your head and shoulders up into upward dog. So again, I'm in upward dog now, tops of my feet on the floor, hands are on the floor, everything else off the ground, but my knees and my hips and my belly are just a few inches off the floor. My chest is up high. Now I'm gonna turn my toes to the ground again, come back up into my push-up position and go into downward dog. So I'm raising my hips way up in the air, pushing my heels towards the floor, pushing my hands away from me as I press my chest towards my thighs. Deep breath in and breathe out. Good, head hangs down. Okay, now let's go ahead and raise the head up just a little bit. What I want you guys to do here, bring your feet together. Okay, this is again, a little more advanced. If you wanna stay with the sun salutations or just step up into warrior, you're welcome to do that. Take your left leg and I want you to keep your leg straight. Raise your left leg and left heel up in the air as high as you can reach. And now you're gonna bring your leg forward and put your foot on the floor right underneath your chest. So I'm in runner's pose right now. My hands are on the floor still. My right foot is exactly where it was, but now my left foot is on the floor, flat underneath my chest. My right, left knee is bent, and I'm in kind of like a lunge position. It's called runner's pose. Now, push that front leg into the floor as you raise your upper body up and reach your arms way up overhead. So now I'm in crescent pose. I'm up on my feet. My front foot, my left leg, my front left foot is flat on the floor. My front knee is bent. My right leg is behind me with my right knee straight. I'm driving my right heel towards the floor. My hands are up over my head, palms facing straight ahead of me. And I'm taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Now from here, this is crescent pose. If we take our back heel and we put it on the floor, we turn our back toe to point out towards three o'clock. So we're facing forward towards 12 o'clock. If you take your right toe and point it towards three o'clock and put your heel on the floor, that opens up your right hip. It turns it open. And then with your arms straight up overhead, now we're in warrior one. Try to keep that front knee bent and try to make sure that that front knee is right over top of your ankle. Right? If your foot is too close to you, you're gonna drive that front knee out over the front edge of your toes. So you gotta kinda step that left foot forward so that your shin is totally vertical. Now from here, let's go ahead and go to warrior two, pointing your left hand towards 12 o'clock. So I've turned my chest, okay? I've turned my body to the right and here's my warrior two position. So what do we have here? My arms, are at shoulder level. My left hand is pointed towards 12 o'clock. My right hand pointed back behind me towards six o'clock. My left knee, toe, and hip are pointed straight ahead, just like my left hand towards 12 o'clock. My chest though is pointed towards three, okay? I'm looking over my left hand and both of my arms are, again, at shoulder level, okay? Let's go ahead and straighten out that left leg. Okay, good, that feels good. So now both of my knees are straight. I'm still in the same position. So my right toe, my chest, my right hip, my belly, everything pointed at three. My left toe, knee, hip, arm pointed at 12. And just my right arm is hanging out back here at six o'clock by itself. <laughs> so we're gonna go into a triangle pose. So here's how we're gonna do this. Take your left hand, reach out towards 12 o'clock as far as you can reach bring your hand down and place your hand either on the floor on the outside of your foot inside of your foot you can place your hand on the top of your foot on your shin however far you can reach if you have a yoga block you can go ahead and put your hand on a yoga block for a little bit of height if you need i'm going to put my hand my left hand on the top of my left foot I'm gonna turn, put my right hand straight up in the air and I'm gonna turn and try to look up at my right hand. So both of my knees are straight, my feet haven't moved. 
everything is the same position except I'm leaned way over my left leg now this is triangle pose and boy I feel the stretch it really feels good too <laughs> loosening up the hamstrings the insides of my thighs um, you feel this in your ribs and on your side so very slowly I want you to raise back up to warrior two so go ahead and bend that front knee again bend the left leg look over your left hand left hand towards 12 o'clock right hand towards six let's turn forward again so turn your chest towards 12 o'clock again reaching both arms straight up in the air for warrior one and turn your back leg so your back foot is pointed towards 12 again we're back in crescent pose and now we're going to fold down we're going to collapse forward put your hands on the floor slide that left foot back into your push-up position so we're back in our push-up position we're going to do that same sequence for the other side so i hope you guys are following me on this deep breath in sorry just adjusting my shirt here again so i'm in my push-up position i'm going to turn the tops of my feet onto the floor i'm going to come down into chaturanga push back up into upward dog so big stretch here with upper dog. Shoulder blades back, head is up, chest is forward, knees and hips just an inch or two off the floor. Again, put your knees down if you want to, a little easier on the back. Totally, totally fine. That's upward, or uh, cobra. Knees off the ground is upward dog. Raise yourself back up to push up position. So my toe is back on the floor now. And lift the hips back up into downward dog feels good guys okay feet together we're gonna do the right leg this time so feet together raise your right heel up in the air as high as you can all your legs are straight both legs straight and then swing your right leg forward into runner's position so my hands still on the floor my hands and my left foot haven't moved but now my right foot is right underneath my chest, as close as I can get it. You can even, if you can't swing your foot all the way through, you can even just kind of grab your leg and kind of hop your foot forward a little bit so that your foot's up under your chest as best you can get it. And I'm gonna push up. I'm up on my feet now into crescent pose. Okay, so that my front foot is flat on the floor. It's my right leg, right knee is bent. Now my left leg, which is behind me, is straight, pushing my left heel towards the floor. Arms are straight up over my head. So everything right now is pointed towards 12 o'clock. Now these are balance maneuvers too. So if you feel yourself kind of wobble and move a little bit, you need to set yourself up next to a wall or a chair for a little extra support. Widen your feet just a little bit. Instead of having your back leg directly behind you, you can kind of kick it out to the side just an just a inch or two. To help balance okay now take that left foot turn your left toe so it points towards nine o'clock opens up the left hip and now we are in warrior one so the only difference between warrior one and crescent pose is you take your back foot and you turn it open opens up that hip let's go into warrior two now i'm going to take my right hand point it towards 12 o'clock left hand goes back towards six i've turned my chest now so I'm pointing towards nine o'clock and I'm looking over my right hand. We're going to straighten the right leg now, come out of warrior two, and we're going to go into triangle pose. So again, my feet haven't moved. Okay. My left leg is pointed towards nine o'clock. My right leg is pointed towards 12. I'm going to reach out over my right leg. I'm going to reach out towards 12 o'clock with my right hand bringing my right hand down to the top of my foot, bottom of my leg, inside, outside, on the floor, doesn't matter, whatever works for you. I'm gonna turn and look up towards the ceiling as I point my left hand up as high as I can. I'm trying to reach my left hand up, stretching out the whole body. Very good, guys. Stretch, rotate, twist, pretzel. <laughs> What's this guy doing to us? That's so, so important for your body. Good stretch, guys. Reach up. 
All right, I'm gonna slowly raise back up and raise back up into warrior two. I'm gonna bend that front knee again. So my right knee bends, I'm looking over my right hand, right hand pointed towards 12 o'clock. Left hand back towards six. Now I'm gonna turn forward again, turn my chest towards 12 o'clock, reach the arms up, we're in warrior one. Deep breath in. And now we're gonna turn that back foot forward again. Everything pointed straight ahead towards 12 o'clock. We're in crescent pose. Good guys, go ahead and collapse down now. Bring your hands down to the floor. Bring your chest towards your right knee. Slide your right foot back into our push-up position. So one more time, we're gonna go upward dog. I'm gonna turn my feet down. Again, you can cobra or whatever works. I'm going down into chaturanga and up into upward dog. Big stretch here. And go ahead and turn the feet under and raise your hips back up. Either child's pose or I've got downward dog. Good. Excellent job, guys. Excellent work. Raise your head up. Walk your feet up to your hands. And we are going to hang down in ragdoll pose for just a moment. Deep breath in. Let's go ahead and reverse swan dive. So pick the head and shoulders up. Reach the arms out to the side and up over the head. Perfect. Okay. That was good. You guys went through a good sequence of yoga stretches. We're gonna go through a couple more uh, just static poses, static stretches, and we'll finish up with some progressive relaxation. I think you guys are gonna like that. So let's go ahead and sit down on the floor. Um, facing towards you guys, I've got my legs out in front of me. I'm sitting up super tall, head is up high, shoulders are back. Let's go ahead and turn your legs open. So I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna drop my knees open, put the bottoms of my feet together, and pull with my hands. I've got my, my hands grabbing my, the tops of my feet, my ankles. I'm pulling my heels in towards my groin, sitting up super tall, head is up. Put your elbows on the insides of your thighs, on the kind of close to your knees, and push down with your elbows. This is Cobbler pose, uh, bound ankle pose, butterfly stretch, a few names for this one. But you wanna push and drive your knees out and open, sit up super tall, try to push your belly button towards your, towards your heels. So you're trying to keep that back in a neutral position. Sit up nice and tall. We'll just get a few of these cool down stretches. We hit just about everything with, with those few asanas, uh, the yoga movements that we went through so just get a couple more stretches in good go ahead and relax out of that stretch oh, feels good go ahead and turn now i'm gonna be long ways on the yoga mat i was turned kind of to the side of the yoga mat so whichever position you're in i'm long ways on the yoga mat so i'm sitting with my legs straight out ahead of me i'm gonna go up very very tall my head is up very high shoulders are back so i'm doing an l sit toes towards the ceiling, legs are straight, heels and buttocks on the ground. So what I want you guys to do here, sit up tall, reach way up overhead, reach your arms up high, deep breath in and breathe out as you collapse forward towards your toes, trying to reach your arms as far as you can. I can actually, I got my toes here, but if you can't reach that far, drop your hands onto your knees, your shins, Slide your hands down as far as you can. So one of your goals here, you're trying to push the crown of your head towards your toes as far as you're able to. So this will help elongate the spine. This will help stretch open those hamstrings. Try to keep the knees down. So keep them straight as you can. Take a couple deep breaths here. Just one more good posterior chain stretch before we move on to our progressive relaxation technique. I think you guys are gonna really like that, so stay with me for another minute here. 
good. These are so good for your body. Go ahead and release, come back up, relax for a second. And I think we're gonna go right to it. We did pretty well with this workout. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna adjust my position here. Go ahead and lay, lay down wherever you are, whatever you've got handy, whatever is comfortable. I'm just chilling on my yoga mat here. Um, I'm going to let my feet relax and kind of fall open. I've got my palms face down uh, on the floor and I'm just kind of relaxed in what would be called corpse pose. It's pretty close to corpse pose. I know it's not the greatest name, but I, I didn't write the book, so. <laughs> Anyway, just go ahead and relax where you are. Let's go through a progressive relaxation technique. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna tell you to tighten up a set of muscle groups and we're gonna squeeze those muscles as hard as you can. And then I'm gonna tell you to relax and you're gonna try to release all of the tension. Our muscles need to learn when to be tight and when to release. That's how muscles are supposed to work, to constant uh, contract and relax sequence so we have to condition our muscles to be able to do those things so let's go ahead and start off at the bottom and work our way to the top i want you to tighten up your your feet your toes your calves i want you to just squeeze everything from your knees down clench up your toes curl up your feet try to push all of the stress out of the bottom of your feet push it as hard as you can squeeze press tighten up Hold it for a second here and release. Now relax the toes, relax the feet and the calves. If you get a little bit of a cramp, <laughs> it can happen. Go ahead and get up, walk around, stretch it out. Pause the video, come back to it in just a second. Let's move up a little bit. So I want you to tighten up your buttocks, your thighs, your hamstrings and then tighten up your calves, your feet, your toes, the bottoms of your feet. So everything from waist down right now should be tight, squeeze, compress, push, press all of that stress out the bottom of your feet. Good, hold and release. Release, 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 relax. Think about a pad of butter just melting into a hot pan. Just let it release. Now let's go to your abdominals, squeeze your belly, your lower back, tighten everything up, squeeze your buttocks, your thighs, your hamstrings, push down into your calves, tighten up your calves and your feet. So everything from your ribs down should be squeezed tight, press it in, hold, squeeze, 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 release. Now release, 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 relax, relax. Sink into the floor. Good guys, deep breath in. Now let's go ahead and squeeze your fists, your forearms up into your chest and shoulders. Push that stress down into your belly. Squeeze your belly back area. Tighten up your buttocks, your thighs, your calves, your feet. Everything from the neck down right now should be squeezed tight. Make a fist, tighten up your arms. Push that stress out the bottom of your feet. Pull the shoulders in tight and release, relax, relax, sink into the floor, release all of that muscle tension. Great guys, one more time. Let's go with the face now. I want you to clench up your face like you're making an angry face, tighten up your jaw, squeeze all of those muscles, squeeze the muscles in your neck, shoulders, arms, chest, make a fist, Push all the stress down into your belly, into your glutes, thighs, calves, and feet. Every muscle in your body, squeeze, tighten up. Hold it tight, squeeze, press, push that stress out. Hold it strong and release. Sink into the floor. Relax every muscle in your body. Let every muscle release and relax. Now I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna try to give it 
about 30 seconds where I'm not talking. I'm just going to let you guys take a few deep breaths. I'm going to allow you to maybe listen to the background of my family and <laughs> see if that's kind of melodious for you. Just take a few deep breaths and relax. Now slowly, come on out. Stretch your legs and arms a little bit. Take your time, I want you to go ahead and sit up. I'm facing towards you guys. I'm gonna sit in lotus pose where I've got a kind of cross leg position. So I'll work on describing this position for you guys. I've got both knees bent. I've got my right heel tucked in towards my, like under my left thigh. And then I've got my left foot wrapped around the front of my right and my right foot kind of tucked under my right calf. So crisscross applesauce as my daughter's class used to call it. Sit up very tall. You guys did great today. There's so many ways that we measure our fitness. We can measure our fitness by steps. We can measure it by um, how much weight we lift or the time that it takes us to run. These types of workouts are not so easily quantified, but that doesn't make them any less important, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned from this. I hope you'll circle back to it and learn other movements. We just scratched the surface, guys. There's so much to get into with yoga and uh, balance and different positions and theories of movement. Um, but this type of stuff really helps keep your body flowing and moving the way it's supposed to. So I would so appreciate it if you would give me a comment on this video, give me a thumbs up and a like. Any feedback that you have on my descriptions helps me to help you more. And share it so that other people can find that universal design so other people can get that, that information that they're looking for. So from revision training, I'm gonna tell you guys namaste and let's change the way we look at it. Make it a strong day, guys.